Hello and welcome to this Copernicus Data Space ecosystem video where I will introduce to you the Sentinel Hub APIs. On the agenda for this training, I will show you how to navigate to the Jupyter Hub workspace, set up your credentials, create an AOI, and then search for Sentinel 2 tiles using the catalog API. I'll then show you how to use the process API to visualize Sentinel-2 level 2A imagery. And then lastly, we'll run some light analysis producing a time series of NDVI for a field using statistical API. Firstly, let's get ourselves set up. From the home page, we can click on the Analyze Data tab before selecting Jupyter Notebooks. From here, we can then click on Access Jupyter Notebooks, and this will take us to the Jupyter Hub Notebooks instance. We can then sign in with our Keycloak credentials. This will be your Copernicus Data Space ecosystem username and password. After clicking Login, you'll be served with three server options, a small, a medium, and a large server. For this example, let's pick the small server instance. This normally takes about 10 to 20 seconds to load. Once the Jupyter Hub is loaded, you can then begin running a notebook. On the left, you can access the pre-curated examples. We will navigate to the Sentinel Hub folder, and in this folder, we will open up the Introduction to Sentinel Hub APIs notebook. We will then double click on that, and this opens up the notebook. Before we run any of the cells, we should double check that the kernel selected is the Sentinel Hub kernel. This means that you'll have the relevant packages pre-installed, ready to use. Let's start running this notebook by importing some common utility libraries, as well as some modules from the dedicated Sentinel Hub Python library. In the next cells, we also need to create our Sentinel Hub credentials. For this, we can visit the dashboard and navigate to the user settings. In the user settings, we can create a new OAuth client by clicking on the Create New button. We can then give this client a name. I will name it Jupyter Lab in this example. You can then create clients. At this point, you should save the client secret somewhere safe, as you'll need it later when you have to insert your credentials into your Sentinel Hub configuration. You can then click Close. After this, you can copy your client ID and paste this in the same place as your client secret. Let's go back to the notebook and insert the credentials we have just generated. Firstly, we're going to uncomment the second and third lines here with the client ID and client secrets, and then we will run the cell. You are then prompted to enter your client ID and client secrets that we have just generated in the dashboard. Once you have completed these steps, you will be ready to go and start using the Sentinel Hub APIs in this Jupyter notebook.